Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. OK, so I want to talk to you this morning or rather the afternoon about how I have styled my hair, why I've styled my hair. This is probably my favourite sort of style. Lots of volume, lots of sort of texture, height. But how do you achieve it if you've got fine textured hair? As I say, it's probably one of my favourite sort of styles to wear. And I feel confident when I have sort of like a, a pompadour inspired look. And when I say that, I mean sort of slick back sides because now my sides are growing out. Lots of volume on top and really sort of overly sort of emphasising the height, the texture, the shape, the character uh, on the top of your head with the hair really high sky. I mean, I like that. So the more volume, the better. Skyscraper type height for your hair looks super super cool on most people now with the finest of hair types you can still create the most craziest amounts of volume but of course it's not for everyone now when i first started wearing my hairstyle like this i really took inspiration from elvis's type of hairstyles um those 1950s where it was really paramount that men had that sort of high volume on top with the sleek sides back now very often they were grown out slightly and they used products like brew cream and palmaze to really get that nice ultra shine whereas now and i feel sort of nowadays people use a lot more free spray sort of type products like that or a bit more of a higher hold i do love using palmades but i just find that sometimes without any free spray or anything like that the hold just doesn't last throughout the day now i could be wrong i'm still reviewing lots of products on my channel and that's something i absolutely love doing but today i'm just going to run through some of my favorite type of products which i'm using at the moment to give my style the edge and the most hugest amount of volume okay so first things first as i say this is my favorite style it's my favorite sort of go-to style and i get a lot of confidence from wearing it but it has to last throughout the day now that starts from where the hair's wet so at the moment what i'm using and i am i'm absolutely loving it is this by john frieda now the volume lift shampoo conditioner i have recently done a review on this one but this stuff is fantastic because when you're doing a style like this and you've got fine hair you do not want to compromise on any volume at all because that volume is going to just add a little bit more height over and over and over so you need to get it you need to get it right so with the wet products when it starts in the bathroom so shampoo condition you want to go for something with volume and something for fine hair but of course you don't also want to you don't want to style your hair you don't want to have your hair at the detriment of being damaged or unhealthy so this stuff is amazing at keeping the condition and the nourishment in your hair as well as using heat and a blow dryer and things to get that volume going so when you finish there what next what do i do so i've used that this morning so i've used the john frieda volume lift shampoo conditioner then towel dried my hair then i've gone in with this stuff which is pretty cool is the port mitchell root boosting extra body boost now this stuff is really good um now i absolutely saturate my hair with this at the roots you don't have to but just so it gives me that really dense lift from the roots it's important to get that scaffolding right so remember you started off whilst you're in the bathroom with the shampoo and the conditioner fantastic then you want to go in with something to really support the roots give you that structure that sort of foundation that scaffolding for you then to go and install your hair so for me this is what i use today and i find it just really good you do have to be a little bit careful because it can if you use too much like i do guilty as charged um it can start to be like a little bit of uh, a little bit tacky sort of in the roots or uh, a little bit almost like you've got like a, a hairspray type product, which is, of course, not what you want. But the Paul Mitchell Root Boost Spray, fantastic and amazing for fine hair. So really, really recommend that one. Absolutely. And so do I on the shampoo and the conditioner. So what do I do next? So then I take a, a uh, take a blow dryer and then I'm rough drying my hair off till it's about 80 percent dry. Then what I'm doing, I know I, I know I'm probably losing people about how much product I'm using now. I go in with a little bit more of this. So then what I'm doing is I'm building up those roots a little bit more because building on products can actually ultimately give you more volume, more texture, more fullness, and then ultimately get that height, that scaffolding. So if you have a look here, look how much height is there. And it's fine hair. It's fine hair, so it needs a lot of help. So then when it's about 80% dry, I go through it and I spray a little bit more because, of course, it's a big style. It needs a lot of help. Um, and then what I do when it's about 80% dry is I take this brush. And this is my favorite sort of brush here to use. As you can see, it's got the prongs here, which grab the hair. And then you've got sort of the bristles underneath, which polish the hair and give the hair shape and direction. So then what I do is I... Just knocking everything over. Then what I do is the blow dryer in one hand, hold from the roots, and then I hold the brush taut up towards the ceiling, and I do that all throughout my hair. So I go through once, then I come in behind a little bit more of a section, then I go up again, and I go up again, right the way through to the back, 
Now, of course, you don't want crazy amounts of volume in the back, but you want a bit of lift. You don't want all that height in the front, and then it absolutely sits on your scalp at the back there, because it just doesn't look nice. Um, so what I then tend to do is I lift it up, but only about halfway, and then I start to sort of wrap the hair back downwards on itself. Um, and then I find that that really gives me some nice direction, because what I usually now do, because my hair is growing out, and I'm intending to grow my hair out, is what I do then at the sides. And I wouldn't recommend this for men's hair, but what I find really, really works, when you want the hair to sort of wrap one side, and then wrap this side here, what I tend to do is lift the hair outwards and then sort of roll it back on itself with a blow dryer. So I'm almost getting that curvature of the hair. So then I've got the volume that I can just sort of with a bit of hairspray or wax or whatever product I'm using afterwards, I can sort of move or, or ply the hair around. And then I've got this height here. So ultimately what you're trying to do is the scaffolding all underneath, lift this hair up in the front as big as can be, lift it off at the side and then over, and then here, lift it up and then over again. But as you can see, I've got some texture and things going on. So we're going to get to that in just a moment. Now, you may then think, what on earth next? Well, I've got fine hair, so it sits flat, and I don't want a style to sit flat. It's Friday, I've had a busy day at work, I've just finished. Um, I started have a look at the, having uh, thoughts about this clip this morning, and I thought to myself, do you know what, once I... Once I finish, I'm going to I'm going to get right on the channel. And I'm going to go through my hairstyle. As I say, this is my favorite style. So then what I do is now don't laugh when you see this, because predominantly this is for women's hair. But this product here is absolutely brilliant. So I often have a look at the hair products in the supermarket aisles and things. Now, is it Bastis? Bastis or however you pronounce it. Um, Bastis style. I don't know if I got that right, but it's brilliant anyway. And it's um, My Locks XXL Volume Spray Instant Volume with Keratin and in is it Inky Oil? Inca Inky Oil? Forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. But anyway, this is really, really good. So if you just clock back, so we've got the volumizing sort of volume lift shampoo conditioner by John Frieda. So these two guys here, those. Then we have got the Paul Mitchell Root Boost there. And then following that, We've got this stuff. Now, this stuff is amazing. So literally section your hair off through, spray it through. Now, I use loads of this. Um, and then what happens is your hair literally stands up really, really strong, really, really full. Then what I do is massage the roots in ever so slightly, just so you get that real nice ultra thickness in the roots as well. And then for more thickness, I take a thickening paste. This one here by John Fried is one of my favorites. I've been using it for years. Then I take a small amount of this stuff. It's like a putty, as you can see, I've got quite a lot gone. So then rub about half a golf ball size amount through your hands. I know you're probably thinking your hair's going to be like cement. Well, it's fine hair and it stands up and it looks really cool. Anyway, for me. <laughs> so I rub this through my hands and then what I do is I try to get down in the roots and I try to lift upwards towards the ceiling so I get that direction. So what you find then is the hairstyle starting to take shape. So then I use a bit more product and I sweep this side back, sweep this side back, grab a mirror and then pull the sort of the sections of my hair downwards, almost to like everything that's going towards the bottom of my neck. And then here what I do is take my fingers and pull up towards the ceiling, twist slightly, like what you can see here, twist slightly, and then sort of elope the hair off to one side. And then it just goes to show that cost isn't everything when it comes to product, because this is a really cheap hairspray, but this stuff is fantastic. It's by Schwarzkopf Super Soft Volume Hairspray, or Big Dramatic Volume. And then this stuff, because it's got collagen in here, it's a volume booster. I literally hold everything into place and just spray and spray and spray. As you can see, I probably use loads. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Giving it away, I use so much product. Um, and then literally, I let it dry, then I go and spray a bit more. I let it dry and I go in a third time. I know it sounds crazy, but a style like this looks super, super cool, especially if we're going out for an evening. We're all going to be starting to go out more now because of the COVID situation. I'm going through some health problems and things at the moment, so I feel more happier in myself when I've got a style like this. It's super confident. Uh, confident. I am confident at styling my hair, but it makes me feel really super confident and yeah just ready for anything so hopefully you think it suits me boom <laughs> i really hope you do um i love doing this type of style i love using all different types of products as well um the one thing i probably would say is take time at getting yourself a brush what you feel comfortable with when you're blow drying your hair this one is absolutely super cool and amazing as well, like a, a rectangular brush, which gets lots of shape, lots of volume in your hair. My ultimate favourite for creating a huge amount of lift is this one here. Really, really good. And then, of course, just really concentrate on finding a root boosting spray, which works for you. Because, of course, at the end of the day, all these products might not work for you. A product I've actually just uh, recently bought myself as well is by Morton Brown, which I absolutely love. And this is a volumizing conditioner. I've used it before. Um, I've recently just got out and bought this. And I bought this as a set with... 
two of the volumizing shampoos. So that stuff is really, really good as well. So literally what I'm trying to say here is just play around with what products suit for you because you will find out eventually in the end what products work for you and what don't. Um, for example, some hairsprays don't work for me because my hair's fine. They're wet. They sort of start flattening my hair down when I actually want it to be dry. This one is really super cheap. It's amazing. I've used really, really expensive uh, hairsprays and free sprays. They're brilliant. But sometimes, let's be honest, it's just not feasible to pay that amount of money all the time when I'm styling my hair. I have styled hair seven days a week. And sometimes it sounds crazy. But because I'm actually waiting on operation at the moment, I actually style my hair. It sounds so cheesy, doesn't it? I style my hair of an evening when I go to bed. That's a simple reason, because if anything was to happen in the middle of the night, I'd still look cool. I know it sounds don't grill me for it. It sounds horrendous but that's just me um always have to be ready for anything <laughs> anything rather and um when you've got great hair you can take on the world so that's what i tell myself <laughs> but i really hope you've enjoyed that clip i certainly have just a few tips one of these days i'm going to run through actually how i style my hair and the drying and everything like that but at the moment just haven't got the confidence to do it i'll be quite honest with you i know i've had a uh, I've had several sort of remarks and comments and things about that. When will I be doing that? And I will certainly be doing that soon. But at the moment, I just haven't got the confidence. Um, but there we go. It will be something to work on in the future. Absolutely. Um, but there we go. So if you do have any questions or any comments for me, leave them down below. I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you. I always try my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, but until then, I wish you well. I wish you great hair. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.